all right i'm gonna do a walk through here of my 2020 lance 650 that's for sale um you can see here it's got uh speakers on the outside um you got a side awning it's got dual electric awnings this here is your panel for uh, the refrigerator access panel you've got uh, dual color exterior lighting on all sides i'll go over that in a minute when we get to the back a couple of extras that i added one of them here is a, a Paniting um, seven-way antenna, and this has four cellular slots. You can use a, uh, any cellular uh, data plan. You can have four different carriers if you want. I just have Verizon and at and because we have to work remotely. It also has a dual-band Wi-Fi antenna, so you can grab Wi-Fi at the different parks and enhance the signal and, and bring it into your inside your camper, Dometic AC low profile on the top. I also added these Yakima, um, this roof rack, it bolts onto the gutters. So there's actually, here's the other one in the back. Um, you can see in some of my photos, I have the canoe on top. There's no holes with that installation. So <clears throat> that's been really great. Um, come in around here to the back. You can see that I've got, here's the dual band, the dual color lighting. So it's got, everything's LED on this camper. You've got yellow. You can also use them in white. And then you also have separate docking lights, which are on both sides here. Um, you can see those. Uh, you have your um, rear awning here can see you have your uh, camera that uh, comes from the factory you can see here that it was installed as a uh, as a factory option now I actually contacted that company I don't know how well you can see it but the camera's in very very good shape because it's brand new I contacted the company there was just a tiny bit of moisture in there and I got a brand new one um, and I also ordered a brand new uh, receiver for it the, the actual screen where you see um, the images and I can show you that but it's also in my listing um, again everything LED even the tail lights this is your propane cabinet <clears throat> um, this is a special tank that they give you because it can actually be bolted down here it has this apparatus on it but this is kind of just extra um, structure but you can put a regular uh, 20 pound tank in here if that's what you want to do. Um, so you got that going for you. Uh, all of the, let's see, but then on the exterior, you got, there's an external propane connection here. Um, and then the these turnbuckles I'm including. Now I actually, these are the torque lift turnbuckles. I actually made some mods to these. So you can see I have quick connect here at the top and I'm, I replaced the hook bolts with these eye bolts so that the entire thing is one continuous piece so when you, if you want to take that when you take this off each one of these is marked this is the passenger rear you know that what's connected to the passenger rear is the right length I removed the extra links of chain um, so that it only has the right uh, amount it doesn't have extra chain that's going to hit your truck if your truck is different and you need a different length of chain, that's no problem. You can just simply get a different length of chain that you want. Um, down here, this is where your uh, sewer outlet is. You have your gray and your black tank. It all funnels into one. Um, to make it easier, you release your black first and then your gray to rinse it through. License plate holder there. I also added this, which is a, um, a, this is a sewer hose carrier. It didn't come standard. They have one weird one, it's tiny, but this one is on the bottom. You can see it's installed under the bottom. Um, and I put, a, it's got a hose in there and then in the back it has my, my sewer hose. Other thing that I didn't put in the listing yet, um, i trying to do this with my left hand, uh, is you can see here, this diamond plate protection, I put that in. That doesn't come stock from the factory. 
So when you're backing up your truck, um, this just gives you some extra protection that's on both sides. Okay, then over here you have your main storage compartment. I'm including these um, plates for your jacks, which are uh, electric happy jacks. I have uh, obviously remote controlled those. Um, this will be included. This allows you to go from your 30 amp connection down to a, uh, I believe it's a 15 amp here, um, regular plug. Uh, this is that carrier that they give you, but it's right behind the awning. So there's, and it's tiny. So I don't know how anyone would use that. You can, I hope you guys can see how shiny this finish is. I mean, I have this, had this thing ceramic coating. Uh, it's a $1,200 job. Look up ceramic pro. It's not BS. They did this inside an auto spa. I mean, look at that shine. It's mirror shine. Um, and I, I'm really happy with it. It bugs don't stick to it. You can rinse it off. I mean, on this side where it shadows, you can really see every single component got this. The roof has it, all the uh, uh, covers for the fans, all of it has this ceramic coating. Um, this is where you have your, your water fill. Um, here you have your external shower. Under here you have your black uh, rinse tank and your city water connection. This is your tankless hot water. You can see it's, I mean, it's like brand new here. Um, endless hot water supply when you're hooked up. Um, this is the outside of your furnace. So that's kind of this side. You can see the other side here of the, uh, what do you call it? The uh, roof rack. Here's the front. And you can see kind of why I color matched. You know, I just like that clean white look. Um, it'll match any truck. I mean, it's mine is white to white, which I like. But, uh, you know, all the decals and stuff, I think they're a little bit corny. Um, Okay, so here's your grab bar. Obviously, you've got your torque lift steps here. And let's take a look inside. So you've got here, um, you've got a bunch of different cabinetry. Um, let's see here. I got, you got a switch light here in your, for your bathroom. Um, I have, I have a bunch of them down here. Just, they have to be bent a little bit more to stay up here. Just bend these down. But these are, I added, these are really strong clips. This is an option. It's just basically a closed uh, rack. You got your internal fan here. Everything works on this camper. There's nothing, absolutely nothing uh, wrong with it. Um, towel rack. Got your mirror here. I was happy with the shower heads they started putting in because like I said, I had a 2016. That one I upgraded. This one I've been perfectly happy with. You got your head. So this is your this is your bathroom area. Um, and go over here. This is your kind of convenience center stuff. Water pump works. Um, you can check your battery, fresh water, your black, your gray, whatever, whatever you want to check. Um, this AC is a Dometic, um, which I've been very, very, very happy with. You actually have a thermostat on this one, um, which is, kicks on, blows really cold. Have this option here where you can have more of it come straight down into the, into the main living section. You can close this and it'll force more air up here to the top where the bed is. You can hear the compressor just kicked on right now. Um, so that, that is actually a uh, big benefit versus the prior one that, that was uh, in the 16 I had. I think it was a 16 or 17. Hot water, turn it on, set the temperature that you want. Start the water. And see how that's going. I'll come back to that in a second, show you how that works. Uh, here you've got your awning controls. They're all and your lights all this is all electric and then here's your solar panel system you can it tells you you know the level of brightness you have 
up shows that we have 14.4 volts in the battery right now. It's just a 12 volt battery, so that's obviously strong. Um, you have a B channel where you can actually come back and uh, use a separate one uh, if you like. Here we have our 120 degrees. This is 120 degree water. So you can run that on an unlimited basis if you're connected to water and sewer. The, uh, one of the features I really liked about this also is that it has um, a much bigger, you can see my hand in here, much bigger, deeper sink. Uh, so much more practical than the, the 16 that I had. Um, you can really wash dishes in here. You can keep dishes in here. You can use the sink cover, which they say is an option, but um, this obviously expands your counter space. You've got uh, your spice rack here, which believe it or not is an option. I added this. It's a no drill. It's just an adhesive um, paper towel holder. This was a $50 add-on that I put on. Um, it has these special uh, rubber bumpers on the, on the bottom side. So you can actually put it on top of the stove. So you have your stove here and you can put this on top. And this basically, you can use it as a cutting board, but it also makes your counter space a lot bigger if you need that. Um, microwave, it works no problem. Everything with the microwave is good. You got your cabinetry here. I've lined all of the cabinets with uh, shelf paper, waterproof shelf paper at, at that. This is a self-holding. You can adjust the tension down there. You got kitchen light. You can see all the LED throughout the whole camper. Um, brand new mattress. Um, it, you know, looks brand new. I mean, we, we used a topper on it, so you can see there's no stains. There's no odors in this whole camper. It's, it's absolutely perfect condition. Um, over here, you got your Bluetooth stereo. There is a remote for that. I won't take out, but it's right there. TV remote. Um, just flashed the, uh, there's no input on this, but if you just flash the Jensen on here, let's see. Come on, baby. Turn that on. There it is. So there's your Jensen TV, all that. Um, your window design is new um, for this model year. Uh, pro previously, they had windows that they were some kind of European style. They didn't have these um, these tensioners. You basically just had to push them out in a very specific way. These you open up and then you just tighten up this tensioner here and it'll hold the window out wherever you want it. And I mean, they open very, very widely. So those are all good. There's no scratches on the window. I mean, you're literally looking through the window right now. You can see how clean and clear everything is. And they've all been protected with ceramic pro. Um, you've got back here, you got another vent here um, with a fan. You can open up. You got another overhead light here. You got LEDs on both sides. You've got a nice little cubby hole over here in the side. You've got a, um, this is your closet. It's actually, you know, for what it is, fairly large. You got these deep cubbies, um, carbon monoxide detector. And then you've got your uh, tri-fuel fridge. You can run this on AC, uh, battery, or propane. Um, and that's working really well so it's a uh, surprisingly big I mean you may think it's really small but you've got three things over here you can put cans in this section and three pretty big um, shelves and then I don't know if you guys can tell but this is this is really cold in here you can, you can already see this is, this is frozen so the freezer actually works really well in these two okay and then got our magazine rack you've got a big cabinet in here you've got your cargo net area here 
which you can take on and off of these clips. Um, this is where I keep, it's actually fairly large. It's where I keep all my pantry foods and things like that. This is also lined uh, with waterproof. You've got speakers here. You've got speakers up there in the, uh, in the bedroom area. This is your booth. Um, you can actually um, slide this table out and back in, depending on if you wanna maximize your sitting space or you wanna maximize your pass through here. So we got that going for us. Um, you got a key holder, clock, uh, Lance Branding. This is the, the best fan in the whole place. This is the fantastic vent fan. Um, most people know what those are. Um, all Dometic appliances. You got your furnace down here. Um, and that's also controlled by the thermostat. And then you have two drawers, um, including the cutting board. This is, um, this one, yeah, I line this one on paper too. So this one also, all with waterproof. This is just like an access panel. I mean, you could store a couple things in there if you wanted to. You got your fuse panel here, all your electrical, another carbon monoxide detector. They added a new step um, for this model year, which I like. I don't tend to use it much, but, um, you know, maybe shorter people, uh, one, two, three, you know, then up works really well. You can really look closely at any of this upholstery. I mean, it really is, It's you can see it shining. I mean, it's brand new. There's literally no issues <clears throat> with any of this. Um, it, you're, you're getting a brand new camper, honestly. Um, somebody else just paid the initial depreciation. So I think that pretty much covers the walkthrough. Um, does have keyless entry. You can see that here. It does have the keyless entry on the, uh, the outside here. See the keyless entry with the code as well. So that's the unit. Um, you know, that pretty much covers it. If you have any questions, you can text me or call me at 305-986-9500. This is the, uh, the brand new screen in fact i think i haven't even taken off the yeah you see it still has the plastic on it so i just got this brand new screen for the backup camera um hope you guys enjoyed the walkthrough and uh call me if you're interested